<laughs> you see, neither of us really have been able to figure out how Michael Phelps does what he does. <laughs> and we certainly didn't think we should be trying to figure it out in a hundred feet deep water. <laughs> I was first to provide the encouraging words, letting Jonathan know that we had life jackets and we would always be above water. But as we got on the pier, it was me backing down. And Jonathan stepped up and said, come on Marvin, we can do this. And at that moment, it just so happened that a good friend of Jonathan's family, uh, actually he's a big, Lewis, was in the water. And Jonathan called him over. To make a long story short, we both were able to face our fears and got in the water on that day. Seeing that we are a few decades apart in age, one of us could run and move around perfectly the following day, whereas the other could barely get out of bed in the shortness. Of course, I won't say who that is. This is just another example of Jonathan and I being able to step out of our daily element and an opportunity to experience new things. I was able to reflect back and see Jonathan's growth as a year ago. We probably would have spent the day on land instead of in the water. Jonathan and I, we've endured some challenges as well. About a year ago, Jonathan and his family experienced a severe fire in their apartment that caused them to be displaced for a period of time. No one was hurt, but the family lost everything. I began to see a more mature Jonathan as when we talked about it, he was not really concerned with what he lost, but he was more concerned about his family and being in a better environment as this was an apartment that was right in the middle of heavy, heavy drug activity. Jonathan wanted to be in a safe environment. Family and friends rallied and as a result, Jonathan and his family was able to move to a better location and actually, a few months later, around the Christmas time, Jonathan and his family were the recipients of an apartment extreme makeover provided by the Hartford Police Department. This included a top-to-bottom cleaning, fresh paint, a fully stocked refrigerator, new interior doors, two couches, a dining room table, flat screen television with a Sony PlayStation 3, new clothes and sneakers, dozens of wrapped and unwrapped Christmas presents, dressers, nightstands, TVs for bedrooms, and new beds for the entire family. This is not only a match between Jonathan and myself. I'm grateful that those who love us dearly support our relationship. Jonathan's mom has gained confidence and trust in me spending time with her son. My wife and two boys have embraced Jonathan as well. He's attended our church services, gone to the movies, and hung out with us on a weekend getaway at Coco Key uh, Indoor Water Park, which was his first time in a hotel ever, and we all had a blast. I have only a sh I've only shared a, you know, just a few things that Jonathan and I have had the opportunity to participate in. Whether it's Bowl for Kids Sake, a Rock Hats, or a UConn game, we had lots of fun and at the same time gotten to know, really know each other. This is what I have on paper, but you know, I just want to take a few moments just to share really from my heart. Uh, I am so honored to be a part of this organization. And just to reflect back, um, at the age of 12, I lost my dad to cancer. And as a result of that, there was, a, was some shaky times during that time. But there were people around who stood in the gap. For me. I had uncles, I had neighbors, family friends. They were very impactful in my life. And sometimes I, I really challenge 
my generation, I'm in my 40s now, and I have a lot of respect for those, the generation in front of me, because they took the time to do those type of things. And so that's my purpose for Jonathan. I want Jonathan to make it. That's a, a special young man. And I'm not alone. There's bigs in here that feel the same way. I expect Jonathan to make it. Our relationship, my goal is to store into him. I want to shift the mentality. Sometimes what he sees in his day-to-day -day walk consumes him. It consumes him. But I don't want Jonathan to feel that he's in a box. So my goal is to, to just put some attributes, certain attributes, to instill that in him. You know, I, have, I, 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 see a, I see an eagle in Jonathan. You know, there's eagles soar high. They soar high. And so you, you see eagles fly above. Eagles have choices because now they can see clearly. They're visionaries. That's what I want Jonathan to be. I want, I want him to be a visionary. He's able to, where he's able to look outside of his immediate circumstances and he can raise and rise above that. You know, eagles also have a very nurturing spirit. And so my hope is that about 20 years from down, down the line that Jonathan would be able to stand up here and give back as well. And so that's what this is all about. When you talk about bigs and littles, and again, I do not stand alone. I know Scott has already done it, but I would like all of the bigs to please stand once again. And can we give them a round of applause? As well as the littles. who are considering possibly to be a big, mm -hmm. let me just encourage you to, yes, go through that process. And let me just take away some of the things that, that, that's typical. It's not a lot of time. It does not take a lot of time to participate. Funds. We know the type of economy that we're in but you have support. I carry in my, these are my cards that Jonathan and I have. We have privileges. We show our big brothers and big sisters card, automatic discounts all the time. I keep these all the time. Keep these all the time. And Constantly, constantly, the, the organization is always sending out things and opportunities, things that you can do that it, it does not, a lot of times, a lot of things that we've out, I've outlined here, Jonathan and I did not pay anything, with the exception of some of the personal thing with family. But some of the other items wasn't an issue. So I just wanted to encourage those who, are, who want to consider becoming a big, Go ahead and make the move. Go ahead and make the move. It will be the best move you've ever made. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you.